regarding the exeter stem uh, it is a colorless high polished double tapered stem the charley stem is a matte finished mono block round back stem with a 22.225 mm femoral head the exeter femoral stem is manufactured from stainless steel alloy called orthinox this has high strength with ductility and high corrosion resistance the charley stem is, is also manufactured from a stainless steel alloy called ortron for the same reason the engineering principles behind the exeter and the charley the exeter stem it depends on the taper slip engineering principle hoop stresses are transmitted to the femoral bone which expands during loading of the component the polished stem allow for subsidence within the stem mantle which maintains stability of the implant and protects against loosening the philosophy behind the design is that it anticipate stem cement debonding distributes the stress evenly in the cement mantle and accommodates creep and stress relaxation in the cement mantle the stem is known to subside into the air filled centralizer which leads to low shear stress high compressive stress and low and almost no tensile stress this in turn increases axial and torsional stability this subsidence also seals off the stem cement interface to prevent any fluid flow which may lead to loosening now coming to the charley stem the charley stem depend on the composite beam engineering principle this depends on perfect bonding of the stem to cement interface and the cement must provide good support the physiological load on the head of the process is transmitted to the metal stem to its tip and then to the cement and bone below it the charley was pioneer in the field of arthroplasty through the concept of low friction torque it is based on the largest possible difference between the radius of the femoral head and that of the outer aspect of acetabular component as the movement takes place at the smaller radius the articulation the bone cement interface is protected this is achieved clinical practice by using 22.225 mm diameter head as part of a monoblock stem charley orig original flat back design was polished and tapered in the anterior posterior dimensions in retrospect if we see it is a progenitor of taper slim philosophy that is exeter charley perceived the subsidence he observed in his early series and he thought it is undesirable despite its low rate of loosening therefore he introduced introduced designs features such as cobra phalange and surface texturing to resist subsidence this was the birth of composite beam philosophy of the cement stems which ultimately led to stems with designs feature and surface texturing specifically intended to not only resist subsidence but to achieve fixation at the implant to the cement to improve the fatigue strength charley increased the cross sectional area of the stem from the flat back to a rounded back design in 1974 in 1975 the addition of anterior posterior phalanges aimed to increase the cement pressurization the strength of this implant cement interface became critical as it needs to resist the shear forces generated by weight bearing and loading of the prosthesis rupture of this interface defines loosening and failure of the composite beam stem in contrast to taper stems slip stems exeter that never achieve nor are mean to achieve true fixation at this interface and the results of both stems are excellent the exeter femoral stem has 13 years survival of 94.4% while exeter charley stem has a 24 25 year survival of 86.5% both exeter and charley stems are 10a odeprating 